Tempo. And well, if you like offense, this is the game for you. Peter Jock certainly knows that. He's en route to having a career high scoring performance. But the question is, who can help him score? Well, Tyler Cook perhaps is the answer. The young fella, the freshman, gives Iowa a three point lead there. Still in the first half, it's a two point lead for Seton Hall when Miles Powell has time to square up and rattle a home a three point shot. Under a minute to play, in transition, it's Jock stopping, dropping that three ball. I was up by one. Second half, we're tied at 44. Desi Rodriguez going baseline. And he's going to finish. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Nobody's stopping Desi there. Here's Tyler Cook, though, and this guy looks impressive, Sean. Yeah, and he really put on an outstanding performance, showing his athleticism, also can step out and knock down the three. 24 points for the freshman tonight. Meanwhile, the story for Iowa on a positive note, you could argue, is Peter Jock, because Jock was just excellent. We're talking a career-high 30 points. And he also had his first career double-double, chipping in on the glass as well. But it wasn't the offensive end of the floor that let Iowa down, as we'll talk about throughout the course of the evening. No, it was definitely the defense. Here's Powell again for three. This is with under four minutes to go in the game. And that's it. That's all. 91-83, to 83, Seton Hall gets the victory. And